After a long winter of indoor classroom presentations, the Newport Fire Department was finally able to get out and do some hands-on work. Now it's getting warmer out, we're able to get out and hands-on, actually run the trucks and flow water and all the good stuff. The first day training scenario was a firefighter became trapped inside a collapsed house. We had a uh, single family home, fire, possible victim inside, so our crew went in searching for the victim. We had a roof collapse. Fire picked up on the roof again. And uh, our firefighter was trapped under debris. It wasn't an actual house that collapsed. The department did the scenario at a garage located behind the fire station. This allowed them to focus on Mayday in writ rapid intervention. Mayday is for when a firefighter is trapped, lost, endangered. Just pretty much if we need help, that's what we're calling for a Mayday. And the rapid intervention team, the RIT team, is who goes in and helps them out. They were able to practice by knowing what tools to bring and know what tactics to make. We went over our procedures of when you are trapped, mayday, 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 and what follows with that. And then also training for the crew on hand to know what to do. And then our RIT team goes in and rescues the victim, which is our firefighter down. In the end, the firefighters were able to save the victim from the situation. We didn't use any live victims. We used our rescue Randy for our victim. The guys did good tonight. The following week, the department was able to train and search in something a little bigger. Riverland College set up an extra trailer out there. And so there's two levels. The lower level was kind of a, a search and rescue scenario. The upstairs was a little tricky. We didn't have the rescue part of it, but it was kind of a SCDA competence course, getting through small tubes, uh, wires, and fitting your body in tight spots and kind of making your way through. So it was a little tricky, but I think everybody got through it pretty good. Whoa, careful now, careful now. In both the upstairs and downstairs, the firefighters are blindfolded, so they had to use other senses to get through the course. It's good practice and uh, in a safe setting. It's kind of similar to what we might encounter in real world uh, settings, so pretty good. Both of the weekly trainings allow the department to freshen their skills and know how to work together when needed. These guys are so great that any activity that we do is always fun. Great group of guys, good spirits. Any drill we do, we take seriously. Just all around great time.